Okay, so been to the shops and now time to go home. We'll see if it can get me out of here. Um, <clears throat> home. And tap brake to confirm. Just had to give it a bit of a nudge there. It was, I um, don't know what it's doing here. These people flying around. Here we go. Let's try and let it uh, do its thing. It's just interesting to um, to see what it does it's funny it went fairly close to that person pushing the trolley but obviously not so close that they felt um, that they were going to get hit but I probably wouldn't have gone that close I think in a lot of times when it's in parking um, situations um, and getting in and out of garages and things it doesn't seem it seems to be a lot like a person it doesn't use um, full lock enough um, see so it's gone it's almost stopped around this corner now it's stopped I've just had to give it a tap on the accelerator and it should have at that point uh, turning into there, it should have used more lock and just gotten around the corner. It's probably going to drive around in circles. Like a concussed goldfish. It's doing this again, it's stopping. Now it's going, no, now it wants to go left. A snap decision, it must have seen the light. And now we're going down this way. You can get out down this way. There's quite a few ways to get out here. Um, uh, and this isn't one of them. <laughs> and now we're going back again. And we'll see what it does. I'm in no hurry. I don't know if this helps it to learn. Um, yeah, and it just followed on that car. It didn't really slow down for it. It, it was going slowly, but um, it uh, it wasn't going to stop or do anything like that. I'll put my indicator on here and see if it will turn left here. Yeah, it's turning left. All we need to do now is go straight ahead and we'll go up an exit ramp or it can turn right up here to go out another exit as well. So if it, if it wants to turn right, I'll let it turn right. If it wants to go straight ahead, I'll let it go straight ahead. Now we have this uh, car in front. No, no, it wants to turn right. It's all right. Yes, let's try it another time. <laughs> I just showed the guy no hands. <laughs> he kind of had a startled look on his face. <laughs> Did that. So you could have done a diamond turn there. We have two cars turning right towards each other. Um, and a lot of people don't do that. But we have, in fact, now gotten out of the um, Oran Park Podium car park for the first time. Um, the only thing I did do was um, use the indicator. 
to point it down a, a right uh, direction. So um, when you're driving, you can use your indicators to change lanes, um, but it won't um, take a turn from what I've found. It'll just keep going straight ahead if that's what is on the screen. If you're just using FSD uh, like you'd use... Um, your um, autopilot so it'll just kind of want to keep going in a direction um, so now getting home should be no problem um, and I just have to put my indicator on as I'm approaching my driveway uh, because it doesn't uh, it doesn't go up the driveway and into the garage it will park me on the street um, close to my house um, so really looking forward to getting version 14 because evidently that is going to um, uh, address a lot of these things and today um, it's, um, it's meant to be um, dropping in America for their um, uh, early access uh, program so keep an eye out on YouTube for FSD version 14 the uh, influencers over there will be giving that a good workout. But I have to say that the way FSD supervised is in Australia only after a few weeks is so close to being fully autonomous that it's not funny. You can you can tell that it's um, it's so close to it, but those um, edge cases, those um, fiddly parking situations, and you know we we're in an underground car park then, so there's no satellite, there's nothing to sort of let it know exactly where it is. It's just using the cameras. Um, those final little bits are the things that take most time to sort out and it's the same with anything that you learn I mean you can learn to do a particular thing and become quite proficient at it um, but to be absolutely um, a master at it it takes a lot more work so you know people like musicians I'm a, you know, an amateur musician um, the professional uh, players just absolutely blown me away I've got no idea how they do it but the general answer is they practice a lot um, and um, and they've honed their skills and it's the same with uh, with this where um, Tesla are um, working on this and it's an AI model it's actually you know viewing the world and making decisions in real time. It's not a geofenced mapped area like um, the Waymos use over in America. Um, this is just driving. This will drive me absolutely anywhere I want to go. Um, here we go. We've got the courier pulling out in front of us. The car slowed ever so slightly. We could see that that was going around. If that had been... Um, uh, autopilot the car would have slammed on the brakes and uh, would have deployed the airbags and the ejection seat it all would have happened but uh, FSD is a lot more measured so here we go back to the dog's house I call it